Hello, everybody. How are you? Welcome on in. Good, good time zone. Happy time zone. <laughs> Let's go with that. <laughs> I, I hope everybody's doing well. I hope everybody is going um, into the weekend in a good way. Um, I woke up with some news this morning that left me very anxious. And I've been doing my best to just get through the day and focus on this moment because knitting together on stream is relaxing. Um, it's personal, but it, it was just uh, not necessarily positive news. So I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, <laughs> we'll, we'll see how that goes. It's, uh, yeah... I'm not going to go into in depth on that, but um, for the time being, we're just going to have a good time today. Just knit and chat and just, oh, thank you guys. All the hugs, all the love. Um, so today we're knitting and guess what? I revamped my knitting screen. I, I'm streaming from my PC right now too, instead of my laptop. And I think I'm managing to get a good quality on PC without there being too much compression problems. Let me move on over. Hi. So this is my new knitting stream. My, not my, not my new knitting stream, my knitting scene. Um, I have this cute border around here, which is a knit stitch. Um, we have the project down, down here. Uh, it's just a name with the, the chat tag to get more information on it. Uh, if you type exclamation mark knitting or knit info, it should give you some information. Um, and this is what we're going to be knitting today. And I, I did not get started on this. I ordered this yarn ages ago in May. <laughs> Uh, because Ajax won that raffle and of course I forgot because it's on my list but do I ever check my lists? No, of course not. And I was looking for something to knit today and we had the option of knitting some fingerless gloves for myself because most of my sleeves, even when I knit them myself, they like this is my own knitted sweater, sometimes they're just not very long. And when I'm sitting at my desk with my wrist on the cold desk, just typing away like that, my hands get really cold. And having fingerless mitts, which just, or gloves or whatever you want to call them, that go up, up to about here and around the thumb and down the, the wrist would help prevent that from being as big of a problem. But, but, um, so I figured working on the octopus plushie instead of gloves might be better. Uh, so that's what we're going to be doing today. Uh, just got the call from my cat's vets. She has super high hyperthyroidism, so I will need to put cream inside her ear every day. Um, wow. Why is it like cream that's med medicated? Med medicine? That has to go on the inside of the ear to be absorbed? Or what? Uh, hyperthyroidism means that she's hungry all the time and not fat, right? Like, she loses weight easily, if I'm not mistaken. I think so. I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> um, but before we start knitting this, I need to swatch, because I don't know what needle size I need. Um, I'm starting with the 2.75 millimeter needles. Um, and let me put some music on real quick. Also, let me know if this is too loud, if, if my voice is being drowned out or whatever. Um, I can always adjust the volume of stuff. It's not a big deal. Okay. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. That's cool. And um, I hope it's not too expensive because I'm assuming she will need that long term. But uh, yeah, we're just going to start with knitting a swatch. So we're going to pull some yarn. Uh, how much would I need? Let's go. Let's go for this. Let's make a slip knot. And this is just going to be very plain basic knitting. 
just to see if I like the fabric. It doesn't need to be anything fancy or special. Daisy's the queen of snacks and super thin, but she's not eating all of her regular food. Oh. Well, I hope that'll help. Mmm, snacks. Daisy knows what's up. <laughs> Ooh, that's, uh, that's pretty steep, Madarasa. don't even know how many stitches I have on here. I guess it doesn't really matter. Not for this swatch. I don't need to know the exact gauge. I just want to figure out if I like the fabric that this size produces. Because this yarn is a lot thinner than what the pattern tells me to use. He had rolling skin syndrome and needed a human neuromedicine. I have no idea what that is. But that sounds pretty intense. Okay, what is my... I don't need to pearl. Not yet. So, are you knitting along, Madaressa? Is anybody else crafting along? Oh, don't forget your your nice cup brew of hot goodness. You're working along. I, listen, listen. I guess that counts, but I wish you didn't have to work. <laughs> Oh, this is nice and warm. Oh, my hands are really cold. Mushana? Musharna? Okay, I've, I've never heard of this Pokemon. I don't know why. That was intense. I'm glad Daisy doesn't have it. It's a neurological disease where the skin moves in rolling movements. Oh, very painful for the cat and causes mental attacks where the cats are acting like zombies attacking. Oh, yeah, no, that, hmm, that doesn't sound very good. I'm just gonna keep my, my tea right there. It's nice and warm, and I need some warmth in my life right now. <laughs> it's so cold. I mean, it's only 14 degrees Celsius outside, which isn't even that cold. I've just been cold all day. to be done with this first row. Just finished dinner, about to start knitting my sock and building a terraria. How is that going for you, Copper? I struggle with terraria. Quite common in fancy cat braids. Oh man. Yeah, I don't even really know what braids Detta and Minka are. They're just... mutts. <laughs> They're domestic European short hairs. You know, the basic garden variety cat. And I'm pretty sure Minka has something else mixed in because of the way his coat feels and his coat is just really thick and double layered. Um, very different from Detta's, but I don't know. Guess it doesn't matter. 
console controls are a tad wonky, but it's going good. <laughs> There's secondhand cuteness. I like that. How is the volume of the music, by the way? Does it need to be louder? Does it need to be quieter? Do I need to zoom in more on my knitting? Just right. Good, good. There. A little bit more close up. Even though it's just a swatch. I really got the tail wrong. So long. a huge soft spot for tuxedo cats. Um, I always had, even before I had cats, I've always liked black animals, uh, like Frisian horses, um, certain breeds of Frisian dogs, tuxedo cats, black cats, black rabbits, <laughs> just, just black animals in general. I, there's something, I don't know. Just something I really like about black animals in, in that it's my favorite coat color. And perhaps it's also because people tend to avoid them. Um, especially black cats. People really don't like black cats. And I don't get why. They're, they're some of the most loving and most amazing cats. I like all animals, like all cats, regardless of their color. I just always find it fascinating how when when I had Detta and Minka together, people would only really comment on Minka and how pretty he is because he's like pure white and just has big green eyes. And I'm like, I don't actually think he looks prettier than Detta. I actually think Detta looks prettier, but nobody ever says that about her. <laughs> Just that she's cute and because she's tiny, but I've always visually liked her better than Minka. And I'm so glad he's deaf and can't hear me dissing him. <laughs> mm. I didn't know your your grandparents had a black hat, Copper. Uh, so technically a lot of black cats are actually dark brown cats, FYI. You can tell in the sun a lot of the time. ages ago. Okay. Oh, I met her as a Yeah, Minka, so he, he technically is a bit on the fat side. Um, the vet told me this week that, you know, it would be good for him to lose a little bit more weight, but um, his pre-pandemic weight was six and a half kilograms, and on his checkup this week, he was only six. So he's lost half a kilogram, which is a lot for a cat uh, during that time. And I think I'm just going to keep sticking to the two portions a day kind of deal 
uh, because Data is just average weight and they get the same amount of food. So for some reason, even though he's like twice her size, um, they eat the same amount and he's the only fat one. And I can relate so much to him because it's the same with me and my sister. So we're working on the swatch. This is going to be the front. And I think I'm going to like this density. It's not going to let any of the filling through. But I'm going to need a little bit more just to make sure. Have some more tea. Wow. Yeah, I can imagine. I used to carry both my cats in one carrier, so that would be six kilograms with about three and a half. So let's just assume that it was 10 kilograms in one carrier. That really, um, that kind of hurt my back a lot of the time. Also, I think when I start knitting this, I'm going to have to start on double pointed needles because I'm starting from the center out the top of the, the head of the octopus. And it's going to be too small for using these as magic loop because the needles or the cable isn't big enough. And all my other ones are occupied right now, which sucks. Look at a pizza that is miles away, my body's like, challenge accepted, poof, instant weight gain. <laughs> yeah. Um, I just know that my metabolism has always been different from my sister's. Um, I need less to maintain the same amount of weight, I guess. And on top of that, I also have diabetes to deal with, which means that a lot of the time I'm eating when I don't want to, to avoid going low. Which is extremely frustrating, especially when you just had a big dinner and your body's like, you know what? Today you need way less insulin. Now you're going to have dessert on top of dessert and you're just like groaning and you're, no, I'm so full. I don't need more. But then you have to shovel more into your body and it's horrific. It's a special kind of hell, especially because you're scared because if you don't, your body might just like quit on you. It's terrifying. Hate it. Let's see. Yeah, I like that. I like that density. And it's still flexible enough and me finish this real quick oh yeah that's gonna be nice and soft still all right so the 
this is 275. Let me open up my big case. God, now I have to go through these. Um, this is two and a half, which is not what I need, but. This is three. So I have almost the right size, except I don't. Uh, three, three seventy-five, two and a half. Do I even have two seventy-five? I should. Two seventy-five. Here we go. This is it. about this okay so let's you don't go anywhere now let's hope I don't break these because <laughs> they're they're bamboo and bamboo is quite sturdy but Using DPNs on a small needle size is kind of scary. All right, all right. Let's go with the body. Using the main color help double. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna hold a double. Cause I'm knitting to my own need, my own yarns, gauge, preference thing, whatever you want to call it. This is fine. Everything's fine. smaller so cast on four stitches only four so that's what we're doing Boop. one two three four I guess I'm using four then. Not a huge fan of DPNs. Don't split on me now. There we go. This last stitch is going to kill me. Okay, this is a mess, I know, uh, but bear with me. You need to hold on tight yarn. So This is impossible. One second. I'm going to do something else real quick just to get it started because This is going to suck. <laughs> nice catch.
them. I am gonna do magic loop real quick, um, just to get joined in around and get set up because I really don't like deviants. I really don't. Knitting is hard sometimes. There we go. So here we have four stitches. And now I don't have to deal with like four needles, five needles at the same time. Uh, knit front to back. Just gonna be precarious, but I'm gonna do it. Knit front to back. Yeah. This is not going to work out well for too long. It's also very relaxing and very rewarding to have a finished item at the end. Yes! I mean, I'm wearing my own home knitted sweater right now. And it's nice and warm. And I like it. Okay, now that I've set up with these, I can then transfer over to the deep ends. Also without worrying that I'm gonna break them. The one thing that I wish I was better at is designing patterns. I'm pretty good at writing patterns, as in if I have the instructions I can write them into a cohesive format. What I'm not good at is designing them. <laughs> Alright, row one done. I'm gonna mark my rows. Is that because it's really hot in your room? Uh, and one thing I do is have a stitch marker for first stitch. Okay, I'm gonna do one more round of knit front to back. So that I have 16 stitches, and it means I have more stitches on each DPN needle. Start it with knitting is always the worst part. Like setting this stuff up, it's hard. Can't be, but window open, door open, get a nice airflow so it keeps cooler. <laughs> Aldi is a hot dude, yeah. She might be warm. In a bad way? Or does she like being warm? This is round two almost done, and then I'm switching to deep ends for a little bit. She might come out soon. It's fucking hot in my room. We should tell her we'll then stop being so hot, hotty. Good, good. As you should. <laughs> well, tell her to quit that shit. Dang.
That's row two done. I think she secretly hates me. Oh no, that's too depressing. Don't say that. Okay, so... This is gonna be four stitches per needle. Now I'm just gonna be knitting onto my deep ends because that's easier. And this is just a knit row, which is good. Helps to, um... Uh... To pull the needle out. One. Come on. Two. Three. Now that is its own needle. I can go there. It's always so fiddly to get this set up. One. Two. Four. See, this is a lot easier to manage with, like, five needles. Once you have some stitches going. these aside for now um they're handy when i get to different parts later just not right now <laughs> so it's round three all right round four knit one knit front to back eight times until we have 24 stitches total One. Knit one front to back. One front to back. I am so scared I'm going to break these needles. <laughs> also, is it focused correctly? Is it sharp enough? Let me, uh... There we go. This is such a mess.
Hi, Wolf. Thank you for the lurk. Ooh, you're playing hot dogs, horseshoes, and hand grenades. I still need to get that game. Speaking of VR, I also need to finish my painting from yesterday. Instead of working on my painting for day six, I got super distracted making a video to announce today's knitting stream, which was completely unnecessary. Nobody needed that. I just, I just got sucked into that somehow. I just, I started, I couldn't stop. It was totally pointless. <laughs> um, and then today I was too anxious, but I think after this stream, I'm going to go back to it. Uh, I don't think I did. I should probably do that. Uh, at what point should that be used? Like, should that be its own command that gets run as an effect? Oh, thank you, Matarasa. Personally made it a chat effect. I will look in just a second. Does that do the thing? Let me know if that works for you, uh, Matarasa. So I did add that to the custom shoutout command just now. So when we manually hit that, it should say that. Let me also just add this to the events. So I'm, I'm keeping my shoutouts as they are, but I'm adding the extra shoutout to it. Oh, that's not target. That would be... Username this time. Okay. Username. Add it to the regular chatter shoutouts. And put it in the raid. And I think that's it. I think that's all my commands that do shoutouts. Yeah. 
it should be functional now. Finish round four. On to round five. <laughs> Thank you for the fart, Matarasa. <laughs> Never thought in my life I would say that so frequently. <laughs> at this point. <laughs> Alright, round six. Knit two, knit front to back eight times. One, two, front to back. One, two, knit front to back. I have no idea where my cats are. I know Mink is in the carrier behind me, but I don't know about Data. Probably in a desk chair, because it smells of your tooth.
No <laughs> apartment smells of your toots. Yeah, but the, the chair just has it like all in there, you know? It's like it's got extra ass smell. <laughs> wasn't done yet. I think I need to move the marker up because I know this is the beginning needle, but it's getting harder to see. Oh yeah, same with my cats. Some I just get tired of it and I'm like, nope, not my favorite anymore. And then I just sleep elsewhere. And now let's knit three, knit front to back. So it's steadily growing. One, two, three. Two. Without catching the yarn, please. There we go. Two, three. So any big plans for the weekend? She will lay there all day, every day for weeks until she gets off it and naps somewhere. Yep, same with mine. Mine do the same thing. Need to finish the craftings and put them in the mail. Hell yeah! I am. Um, I'm basically done with Mel's mermaid doll. Um, I got virtually all the hair in. I just need to tie it up and stick it down, and then put it in a box and send it there. And it's only like, what, two years late? <laughs> only two years. Oh yeah, absolutely.
Yeah, that's the thing, right? Without the ADHD just making everything so much harder to do. I struggle so badly with planning gifts on time. Alright, row 8, done. Look at this. It's starting to turn into a circle. <laughs> Slowly but surely. Alright, two rows of just knitting. Now, if only I can do that without splitting the yarn terribly. Yeah, that's gonna be... Listen, I took... I took my ADHD meds when I had dinner earlier at like 7, so about two hours ago now. And I can tell it's like delayed because of the food, but I can tell when I take it. It makes a huge difference. And having access to that is really important. It doesn't undo my ADHD, but it just helps me to do the things that I kind of want to do better. Not perfect, just better. And I want for you to have that option too. Yeah, that sounds like a dragon Pokemon, so I'm gonna catch it. Oh, you absolutely are capable of knitting. Your brain is a liar. Excuse me. I also need to make some more tea here soon. Sorry. I know that feeling. Ah, You should have caught that too, that's bullshit. What Pokemon is this? Let me go check. Uh, where is it? In my list. Oh. Oh, it's that one. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Faze's appointment at the Vex ne next week isn't too expensive. I could use some of the loan of for that. Yeah, that's a good point. I hope it's not going to be too bad. row nine. Now we're knitting row ten.
that blood sugar really just constantly nine and a half, by the way? It is. Okay. Kind of amazing, considering how much food I had. Really closed captioning? Die hard? No, that's not what I said. There we go. Nine and ten. Now we're gonna keep doing the same thing over and over again. <laughs> um, knit four, knit front to back. This is going to be very tiny OP. But I'm not sure. But it, it is supposed to be a mini octopus, right? One, two, three, four. Also, Honestly, I could probably knit a whole bunch of these and then try to sell them. If they're not too... if they don't take too long. Uh, two, four, oops. Because they're small, which means they're easy to ship for very cheap. Knitting off off the screen. I'm so sorry. I'm also going to make some more tea real quick because I'm thirsty and I'll be back in just a minute or two.
I return! Hi, Aldi. I'm so glad the workday is over for you. That shit is so aggravating. And tea is steeping. I am on knit four. Knit front back. Okay. Also, if they call you next week while you're on leave, um, I will literally call them and tell them that you're visiting me in the Netherlands and they need to go the fuck away. The, op the offer is there. Just, just let me know. <laughs> Gotta DM me that shit, man. I'm not gonna remember if it's been on stream. I know it's fake. Just saying. to 14 knit. Okay. That's three rows then. Hmm. Don't even have to answer, especially since all the work-related contacts have the Imperial March attached. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's great. Hold on, just getting my tea ready for consumption... So since I'm counting rows, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my marker so I can just count from the marker in case I lose track. Here we go. I wonder if I can do this entirely on DPNs, actually. Because... Ooh, okay. So right now I'm at 48 stitches total. And I'm going to go up to 64 stitches total, and I think that will fit on all these needles. So I can technically knit them all on these DPNs. Dope! Also, one thing I'm going to do, because it's going to bug the shit out of me, is... Um... Look at my cute little kitty! It's a little black kitty! Stitch marker!
Thank you for the lurk, Aldi! Good enough hidden from from this side. There we go. Now I don't have to worry about that anymore. I'm down to play some Ghost Watchers, yeah. Will you be streaming or just playing off stream? I'd be happy to, to play with you. Yay! Hmm, I think the only thing that I would need to do if I want to knit these to sell them is to get more um uh what do they call the eyes? Because I'm not sure I have enough of those. But we shall see. No, not with what I want for these. Um, the way that they're made with the eyelids and everything, they have to be the actual beads. Otherwise they don't look right. But it's okay, they're not very expensive. I can get a whole bunch. Thank you. You don't have to. I I need to go through my stash and see what I actually have. And based on that, I can figure out what I need and, and get more of those. Um, that was 12. Now we're 13.
I was 13. And now we go to 14. I'm getting a little bit tired of this music. Um, can I find something a little bit different? What about this? That's really cute. Is round 14 or on 15 Knitting and a magic loop, both upper part and sole part have 24 stitches right now. I need to get to 30 stitches before I will knit the main part of the sock's foot. I increase two stitches in every second row, so quite a few rows to knit before I get to the main part. Yeah, I feel that. Are you knitting the toe? Me too. It's my preferred way of doing that.
Panda! Welcome on in! Thank you for the raid! Hi! Hi, welcome on in! How are you? What were you streaming? Were you also knitting? I'm assuming you're also crafting. <laughs> Hi Raiders, welcome on in. My name is Mermaid Lullaby, also known as Sonnet. Um, I'm a variety streamer. I stream a bunch of games, including flat screen and VR, but I also do a bunch of knitting and art. And today we are knitting a little octopus plushie from the head down. And uh, that's what I'm working on right now. <laughs> a knitted Topsy Turvy doll. Oh, that sounds so cute. Well, welcome and in. Thank you so much for choosing me to come raid. And make sure to take care of yourself and do all your post-stream care stuff. Um, I've got a nice big cup of tea. Yes. Let me see who all came in with you. Chaos Queen Heather, thank you for, thank you for the for the follow as well. <laughs> um, Alini Vi, did I pronounce that right? Uh, Mimi of the Moon <laughs> and Bubble Panda, of course. Thank you so much for the follow. Oh, you're not late at all. You're just on time, don't you worry. I'm just placing some stitch markers right now because I'm gonna be working up to a. Uh... Oh, thank you for the follow, Mimi. So many sounds. <laughs> Eleni, thank you for the follow. Oh gosh, you guys. I appreciate that so much. Thank you. Uh, counting. How do I count in the middle of a raid again? <laughs> uh, that's three, four, five. Knit front to back. And the last stitch marker. I have a big version of this uh, plushie that I knitted before, and I did a giveaway a while back, a long while back. It was like earlier this year. Um, and my friend won a tiny knitted octopus plushie. And so I ordered the yarn in May. <laughs> And I only got around to making it now because ADHD. Um, I actually have a picture of. Let me go get it real quick. Uh, where did I put that? Uh, I knitted the big version of this uh, a while ago. Am I still logged into Ravelry? No, of course I'm not. Now I am. Uh, my projects. There we go. Save to wherever. Let's fetch it real quick. Whoop, there it is. Uh, so this is the big plushie that I knitted before. Uh, and I'm making this in a tiny version now. <laughs> Uh, this one took forever, um, but I love everything about it, and so we're just making a tiny version now. Oh, thank you, Alini. If I'm mispronouncing your name, please let me know. I, I want to get it right. Um, the color is going to be combined uh, so the top main part will be blue and the bottom of the tentacles and the bottom of the octopus will be pink because that's what my friend's character is colored like. Uh, did I just finish what I... this row? Yes, okay. So finish this round. Let's move the stitch marker so I don't lose track. There we go. 
as you might have been able to tell, I'm a little bit biased towards aquatic animals. <laughs> Slightly. Now we're just doing a couple of rounds plain knitting. So what do you guys have planned for the weekend? Anything special, interesting, exciting? Oh, I feel bad because my name is also the kind of name, my real life name is the kind of name that people tend to mispronounce and I'm, I'm so desperate to get it right. <laughs> I'm glad I'm at least close though. Coordinating for me with gaming breaks. <laughs> also taking my little dog out for some adventures. Good, good. I like that. I am going to be doing some um, some painting in VR this weekend. Um, I'm participating in... Normally people participate in Inktober, which is uh, drawing illustrations in black and white line art. I am a VR artist as well, and I challenged myself to make a painting every day uh, in the month of October, so I've been trying to do that. And I have some catching up to do because I didn't get to finish yesterday's, and I still have to paint today's, but I'm going to be able to pull through with that, I think, because today's prompt is going to be very simple. Um, yes, that's one of my, one of my paintings. Oh, that's totally okay. It's uh, it's 9.30 for me where I live, so I totally understand. VR painting is really cool. It's an oil painting simulation. Simulator. <laughs> it's very satisfying to paint in VR. Also, for what it's worth, I consider it a compliment when people fall asleep to my streams, especially my knitting streams, because it means they're nice and chill. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. There's, there's nothing wrong with virtual reality painting any more than there is anything wrong with real life oil painting. It's all just whatever. That's totally okay, Bubble. Thank you so much for the raid. Go do your thing, and thank you for the lurk, and... Just, just take, check blood glucose as well, yes? Ooh, are you a diabetic too? Because, um, up, 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 hold on, how do I do this? There's mine. <laughs> oh god, am I still doing this right? Yeah, that was 16. Heck yeah! Diabetic high five! I hope it's in range, and if not, I hope it will be soon.
Okay, this is row. We just did 16, now we have 17. On to row 18. Let's get some more yarn here. There we go. boy i think there's only one more increase round before we work the length and after that we're going to start decreasing so i can in fact do all of this on my dpns which means huh i guess this octopus is going to be about the size of a sock <laughs> that makes it somehow more adorable what the hell was one two three row 18 on to row 19 which is the last increase round Sometimes I'm so hard in autopilot, I forget what I just did. I'm pretty sure I just did a KFB. But I had to check. <laughs>
I have no idea what that Pokemon is, but I think I want it. So I'm pretty sure I don't have it yet. I do not. Let's get it. <laughs> I just kept on knitting because obviously autopilot, but um, I just finished round 19, which means I should have 64 stitches all around. And this is going to be as big as it gets. So I should probably tank back real quick. Maybe take a second to warm up my hands on my tea because I'm cold. There we go. There we go. <gasps> I caught it! I still don't know what it is. <laughs> but we will see soon. <sighs> so for next week, I'm not sure what I'm going to be streaming. Um, I'm definitely continuing the Half-Life 2 VR mod. I... I also still have Submerged Hidden Depths that I should be able to finish, but I don't think it's going to be a full stream worth. So... I have a bunch of stuff in my library that I can still play, or... Or... I can make sure that Fridays are always going to be Knit Fridays. So every Friday we're streaming some knitting. Um... I'm not 100% sure yet. Because... I don't know if I want to do it on Saturdays, because, but I feel like Saturdays are so full of streamers. Hmm. Yeah, I think I might stick with Friday for now. <laughs> uh, that's true, Matarasa. That is true. Um, but that's also not a bad thing. All right, so now from row 20 to 30, we're just going to be knitting it around. Nothing special, no increases. And after that, it's start time to start decreasing. And hopefully by then we should have a nice little octopus head. You can already kind of see. It, it almost looks like a TARDIS now. <laughs> Yeah, Saturday is a very busy day, and I probably end up conflicting with a lot of my friends who are streaming, and I know that that's not something I should, tr like, I should be bothered by that, but... <laughs> what do you mean, like a hungry tortoise? I already forgot what I was talking about, but, um... I don't want to conflict too much with my friends' stream schedules, and I feel on Saturdays I will. And I'm not super stoked about streaming on the weekends anymore. It always always makes my week feel very busy. And if I'm streaming three times from Monday to Friday, that's more than plenty. I haven't seen Tortoise in my last two streams. Oh no, a TARDIS! From Doctor Who? The blue please box? Oh, 
off with their head? What? <laughs> I don't know what's going on anymore. Yes. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I know that that is a quote from Alice in Wonderland. I just wasn't sure what prompted it. I'm also very grateful to my tea. I'm feeling a lot warmer now. Let me drink some more. So when it's row 20 through 30, that means 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. That means 11 rows, not 10. Prompted by the absence of Hungry Tortoise. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, that's smooth music. Oops. I have a couple of these DPNs that are really sharp. <laughs> Madam Resta, I didn't ask for a fart smoothie. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Smoothly, okay. That's smoothie. I'm sorry. It's it's late at night. I'm tired. So I feel like this is just slightly uh, settings. No, wrong settings. There we go. Oh, that looks a lot better. Yeah, okay. You will always call it fart smoothie from now on. What have I done? Oh no. You created a gas monster. Well, I'm sorry to the world for having done that. That was not my intention. You know what I need to invest in? A, um, a desk yarn bowl.
Uh, let's see, we are on row 21. Not sure if I'm going to be able to finish these 10 rows before the end of my stream, but I will do my best. Probably not, huh? But that's okay. I will be working on this off stream as well. And see how far I'll get. I also still have a lot of colors left over from the doll that I knit for Mel. And it's the same kind of yarn, so it's the same thickness, which means I can repurpose those colors to make octopuses with. I also still need to finish my squid. So this is row 22 that we're starting on. means 20, 21, 22. We are on row 23. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to make the full 10 rows. 11. But that's okay. I should also wind up the yarn when I'm going to knit more of these, because it's going to be a lot easier to pull from the, the cake. Clobopus is is that an that's an octopus Pokemon? I need to catch that. Do I have it? Okay, check. I I do I already have it? Do I? Really? Do I have a Clobopus? 
do I uh, I do And that is a that is an octopus Pokemon. Cute. <laughs> ten out of ten, recommend. All right, I'm at least going to finish this row. And then we are going to go spy around a little bit on Twitch and see who is knitting. And we're going to pass on the love from... I suck at names, I'm so sorry. Bubble Panda? Yes? We're going to pass on their love. And then I'm going to do some more painting in VR before bed. Be free, little clavapus. say that's not bad two hours of progress the top of an octopus head and that includes time to swatch I had to give my cat some medical cheese goodness me Daisy is so spoiled but yeah so that that does look about that looks like it's gonna be about sock size total when I look at it like that so that's good. All right. Let me turn off the music. And... Set this up. I changed my end of stream scene to now include my Kofi Coffee subscribers. Which includes you, Matarasa. <laughs> and a paint over drawing, yay! Thank you so much to Bubble Panda for the raid and to all the followers that came along and started following. I appreciate everyone so much. Thank you so much for your support. Um, I'm just going to go check around and see who is doing what on Twitch. Um, let's see if we have any knitters. There's me. <laughs> Ooh, and we have a 24-hour craft stream that includes knitting. I don't know who this person is. I don't follow them, but... Uh... Stream is not working too well for me. One second. Then we have a person who is chilling with some crocheting. Oh, and they draw too? And she's from Belgium? Oh, sweet. Yes. Okay. Okay. Okay, I think I made my choice. Uh, let's hope that she allows being raided. Uh, I have a raid message here for anybody who wants to copy and paste it. You can follow me on Twitter, and you can also join my Discord, which is where I post my schedule. Uh, you can also see my schedule on Google Calendar. It's not been updated for next week. I will do that this weekend. 
and yeah um i am most definitely gonna make knitting uh, a once a week kind of a deal at the very minimum maybe more often who knows we'll see and i'm very likely gonna do friday knits every friday so yeah <laughs> Suck at outros, can you tell? Ugh. Alright. So, this is the person we're gonna raid. Um, I saw that she uses she pronouns, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. And she's from Belgium. I don't know her, so I'm hopeful that she's a nice person to hang out with. We'll see. Um, I'm pretty sure most crafters are really nice people, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I hope to see you guys next week on my other streams. And keep on crafting. Have a lovely weekend. Remember, you're loved, you're valuable, and you matter. Yes, I am from the Netherlands. Um, even though I sound like an American. <laughs> I'm just an American imposter. Uh, we're gonna say hi to Handmade Nix. Awesome, she's accepting raids. I'm taking seven of you with me. Yes. Awesome. All right. I hope you guys have a lovely, lovely weekend. Stay awesome. Stay cool. Stay warm wherever you are. And I will see you guys next week. I love you. Thank you. Goodbye.